back to another wonderful Plant Wednesday where we talk about native plants that you can plant in your yard um, for clean waters, healthy habitats, and strong communities. Um, and you know, from all all sorts of plants that you can plant, you can plant in your yard, not just wild things you see everywhere. Um, uh, if you have a comment or a question during the recording, you can post it in the comments and I will answer them either as I see them or near the end. Uh, and I also was going to say, I think last week I said we'd be back at 3.30, but here I am at 11. Still going to try for 3.30 next week. Did 11 today because the plant we're going to talk about today closes up in the afternoon. It doesn't look as great in the afternoon. It looks good and better in the morning here, so that's why. That's why I'm here at 11. So, sorry about that. I think we'll try 3.30 again. But as always, you can always watch this. It'll be on our Facebook page and our uh, Instagram TV after I'm done. Uh, and you can ask questions there too, and I'll be on to answer anything that I see. So, let's get to today's plant. It is um, Virginia Spiderwort, or Tradescantia virginiana. So, the Latin name, not as exciting. Tradescantia refers to John Tradescant, I guess that's how you say it, a botanist, European botanist, who brought, who was a gardener or botanist for um, <clears throat> the royalty, even King, King Charles something, Charles I, I think, and he brought them a lot of plants from the New World for their gardens and such, and it is thought that this is perhaps the very first plant that was ever brought from North America to, um, to Europe. Uh, I'm sure we don't really know the answer to that, or maybe to the royalty, I'm not sure, but one of the first plants to be brought back um, to Europe from the New World, so that's interesting. Virginiana just means from Virginia, the Mid-Atlantic. And then the common name is where it gets a little more exciting. <clears throat> so again, Virginia, it's from, you know, Virginia. Spiderwort, why is it called spiderwort? I had to do research on this one myself, and I'll tell you what, there's about, um, I found like eight different reasons it's called spiderwort. Um, and then, so I had found all these reasons it was called spiderwort, and then I actually came out here to look at the plant and figure out maybe why I thought it was called spiderwort. And I'll tell you what I what I first thought and what I think is the real reason. Um, all, all of the stems, let's see if we can see, that's pretty good. See how they're kind of fuzzy right there? They make these really bad sun there. On all the nodes, they're kind of fuzzy and they really look like spider webs. I'm not seeing anything good there, but uh, all these nodes, there's some. Let's see. As you guys see there, it's kind of fuzzy. It's hard to see. But when I first came out here and I saw that, I was I was like, that's that's why it's called spider work because that looks just like spider webs to me. But I'll just tell you, there was lots of other reasons. They said there's a secretion that it secretes when you break a stem that dries and looks like a spider web. I kind of tried that, didn't really look like it to me. Some people just thought the little, the little buds and stuff kind of hanging down kind of look like spiders. And then something else said, oh, it's used to treat spider bites which it is called a wart, so spider wart. The wart does imply that uh, it was used for medicinal purposes. It's kind of what, like St. John's wart has medicinal purposes, so the spider wart does as well too. Used a lot by Native Americans um, for different sorts of ailments. So that's where the wart. So, and another thing I saw though is I think I have, probably really hard to see, a real spider also making his little web over there. I don't think you can see it. Um, so also maybe used by spiders. It has these good kind of architecture with which to maybe make a web. So maybe that. So all the things, all the things, spider wart. But I think it's those furry, furry nodes that maybe was the the end there. But anyway, so this is a great plant. I like this plant. I'll tell you in a minute. Some people don't like this plant. But I like it. We're really going to use it in more natural settings, okay? It's not necessarily, again, this is the same spot where I had my um, 
There are my uh, May apples over there. So I have this too, and I'd like it if it spread throughout here. Um, you know, did what it wanted. People say it spreads really easily. Some people eventually it can get too weedy. That's my quotes, weedy conditions. But that's really up to whatever kind of situation you're in, whether it's weedy to you. This has not really grown much or moved much since I've planted this, but that could be for a couple reasons. Ideal conditions for this plant is going to be moist sun, full sun, moist sun. And if you can tell by this video, I'm in the shade. And the ground here is rather dry. We're in the, under these pine trees here. So I'm not planting this in ideal conditions and it's more well behaved. So that's one thing. If you're gonna plant it in full sun moist, it's probably gonna go everywhere. Maybe that's what you want if you're going for like a natural kind of situation. If you're going for like manicured gardens, which you know, isn't my go-to, then maybe it won't be great. But if you use it in less than ideal conditions, it may not grow as much. Another thing I just read, I just learned this guys, so this could be my problem. I think they don't self-pollinate, so you need two plants to get them to seed, which is how they spread by seed. So you need two plants. I only have one plant, so maybe that's why I don't have any more spider warts. So I may look into um, getting another one and then see, see what it does from there. But it's a really pretty plant. Look at these pretty flowers. Look how pretty they are. They're bright purple, three petals with these bright yellow centers, which are the anthers with the pollen on them. They are attractant to a wide variety of bees uh, and flies. If you saw the picture I posted on Facebook, there was a surfed fly that visited them, um, which is cool. Most of their pollinators, I think, are bees, but other things visited as well. It almost has no insect damage. Insects don't really bother it. Um, it uh, deer do eat it, and other mammals eat it. So if you have deer or other mammal problems, um, you, it might get munched on. I have squirrels, they don't seem to bother it. Um, but bunnies might, maybe groundhogs. Um, uh, also the flowers only bloom for a day. So each of these flowers will only bloom a day, but then you can see all those other buds in there that are kind of waiting, waiting to come out. And it buds, it blooms forever. This has already been blooming for at least a month, maybe a couple weeks, and it'll probably keep blooming into July. The flowers do die back a little um, in, uh, uh, in the sun of the afternoon. They'll die back and um, you won't, the flowers won't be, so it's really a morning, morning show kind of, kind of plant. And then in the heat of the summer, it'll stop blooming and look a little more ragged, but not awful. Um, uh, but maybe it'll fall down a little bit. So that's why we use it mostly in our more natural areas. In the wild, it grows along creeks and things like that. Um, it is. I've seen this one. I've seen this one quite a few places. More in wild, in wild areas along streams is mostly where um, I do see it. Um, but it will grow other places. Oh, it's thought that this plant can grow under walnut trees. If you are, uh, if you know about, it's um, allopathic. Walnuts release this. But, um, a substance, uh, chemi hormonal chemical signals into the ground where they grow that kills all vegetation around them. It's so that they can give themselves and their offspring a better chance of survival. This plant is known to not be affected as badly by those substances. So if you're looking for something to plant under a walnut tree, this is, this is a great choice. I think that's all I have for the Virginia spiderwort, Tradescantia virginiana. I haven't seen any comments or anything pop up, but if you have any, please ask. Um, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say a time I'll be back next week because I'm not sure yet. But I will be back again. Um, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, feel free to share this video and. Um, uh, you can watch all our past episodes on our Facebook page. Hey, thanks so much. Bye.